how do you feel? I feel cold. I feel like I've just seen someone walk into this corridor. So, pretty much in December, uh, the guys found another stairwell going downwards. So we spent roughly two to three months digging down. So the guys went through the wall after the electrician, well actually it was the electrician, and I said they could actually have a little look um, when we finished the electrics. So I popped out for an hour, came back. Uh, the wall was pretty much halfway down. And they started to dig, and I thought it was just gonna be a cupboard. So they found a step, followed by another step. And I thought, well, it's gonna go eight steps down. And it carried on, I think it's 13 steps down there. Totally full of hardcore, uh, to find a cave beyond that, which was also full of hardcore. After the guys kind of got destroyed after about three weeks, uh, seeing they're a hell of a lot younger than me, they didn't last that long. We found another doorway going up into a kind of a corridor or a tunnel. Uh, which the guys found it funny to actually put that through. So we carried on regardless, going through, dragging many hundreds of bags out to find out another doorway at the end of that corridor that you've probably seen tonight, which we've stopped at the moment, which we will carry on probably in about three months. It's been hidden for a long while, uh, minimum 50, 60 years. And whoever covered it up, covered it up well. Uh, very, very well, to be fair. So, pops in in the morning, I drop Marie off, she comes in finds one of the really expensive schools that's been around for, what, four, five hundred years uh, in bits on the floor. We went through all the footage. There was two cameras uh, pointing, obviously, in the corner. There was footsteps we heard from the CTV upstairs, like a banging noise, and steps going upstairs. But both cameras, from the angles that they was at, uh, if you check it, you can actually see through the glass cabinet, but it was the only section that wasn't covered in that part. And that cost us probably about four and a half thousand pounds. So it is, it is a pretty Good bit of footage, but costly footage for us. We did have a guy the other week that decided, how can I put it, uh, to put his head straight through the window. He pretty much just put his head straight through the window. Um, a bit of his body was lying on the floor, uh, which the guys decided to hoover up. I'm, I'm used to pretty sick things, and there's not a lot of the to my stomach, but his part of his head was just flapping on the floor. Um, so, but the guys just hoovered it up and put it in the bin. Um, strangest night possible to how he got his head straight through a 10 millimeter shot from window. But the only thing that actually stopped him from dying uh, was a metal railing that we put there. If the metal railing wasn't there for show, he would have been dead.
So when we was here last, and we was in this building, there was a lot of like devilment and a lot of um, Satan, evil words and and everything like that. So basically, what we're going to do today is we're going to see if we can get any goodness through. I mean, if I swing this, if I swing this round, you'll see that it's not good down here. I've got a hooded figure. I've got the candles. I've got the uh, K2 meter. I've obviously got some other candles, and there's a Mary, I believe. Is it Mary? Yes, it's Mary, I believe. And then down that corridor there, which I'll show you in a minute properly, we are literally going to see people's remains, as in ashes and stuff like that, things that they wanted to be brought here, things that have been donated to the museum itself. Spirits, gins, ghosts, anything that you like to be called. And are you here with me? For me to get away out of this room, it would take some doing. It's basically a ladder that's stopping me from leaving this room. So I am down here. I am trapped to a sense. I know you like it when people are vulnerable. So here I am. So we're gonna do what we done last time. I'm gonna start the investigation in this part of the building, in the exorcist room, and Griff is doing it in the new section down in the cave. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna now start calling out to see if there's anything here with us. Back again, Reagan. I can't leave. Straight in with it, guys, straight in. I can't leave. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the mail rim on the bed. On the bed that was used for an exorcism next to the toolkits. If you could go close and do this. That'd be amazing. Leave. What's your name? Michelle. Hello, Michelle. My name is Stephen. When I was here a few weeks ago, I was talking to someone, possibly. Holy shit. <laughs> Rempod. Hello? Michelle? Was that you? straight away man it's getting good straight away I asked for a name said Michelle REM pod starting going off on the bed it's very small confined so I've got walking then just above me like thumps, fuds. So we'll see if Stephen was walking then. And then obviously we can. Who is he? Well, this is Stephen, he's my best friend. He's upstairs. Or is there someone that's just entered the room that you're asking who they are? If so, say something. Tell us who you are. It's cold. It's very cold down here. And I'm down here with the t-shirts and shorts on. You know how it is.
God. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the? That's weird, that is. Help. <laughs> yeah, you need help. I need help knowing what that was then. I've just... Literally, guys. I've been sitting there. I saw something move from here to here and up there, black, small, around about this big, hang on, let me see, around about this big, maybe maybe a f two foot tall, maybe not, but literally walked from there up to there. I've got all goosebumps and stuff like that. I've switched the camera as quick as I could. Because I saw it with my eyes, and then I turned, and then I saw it go up these stairs. God. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the? That's weird, that is. Are you down that corridor? So, remember, I'm doing all this in the dark as well. It's very dangerous. Hello? How evil that looks. Let me just get it. Let me get these steps, because these steps are really bad. All right. I feel cold. I feel like I've just seen someone walk into this corridor. If possible, walk over to that device again and make it light up to green. Don't be afraid. So that was like two footsteps above me. It was like a... So that was like two footsteps above me. I'm actually at the furthest corner of the deepest part of the tunnel. The feelings that I'm getting are not good at all. But again, I've come into a, a more claustrophobic area. Now, we want to know if there's a spirit down here with me. A spirit that can walk towards me. A spirit that can come out of the light. Would you be able to show me? Rose. Rose? Oh. It's steep, ain't he? Yeah. When I was coming down with all the things, I couldn't hold onto the side or anything. <laughs> so I was just like walking down, falling, basically. This is bad. That's what I said. I said, if anything happens down here, then you're fucked. Because how are you going to get up them fast? Yeah, you can't. So that's what I said. I said to the spirit, I'm vulnerable down here. Blessed. <laughs> that's good, because remember, obviously I was getting what that last hell? time, weren't I? Oh, this light's full. We need new light. Yeah. yeah. But that's what we got last time. Yeah, yeah, my phone was blessed. I know, and it's mad. And then right where you're standing there, from there up to there, I saw like a little black figure around about the size of a cat or a dog. Hmm. Yeah, and he was like about two foot and he just went. And I saw it with my own eyes and I looked at it and he was going like this at first. Hmm. And then I looked at it and it went. That's good. Into there, so that was weird. I didn't, 
Oh. Press? Press? All I got was the name Michelle. I had Rose. Yeah. The name Rose. Did we have that last time though? No, not here. So I just got Michelle and the REM pod going off on the bed. But the figures, the mount, you, but you don't think you caught that on? I switched it as fast as I could, so hopefully you got something. We'll see. Because I was here, I sat here, because I went into there, and went all down there, and that's when I heard footsteps two, though only two. Where's the it, locked off? There. Okay. So, uh, and I heard two footsteps go right above me in that corridor. Okay. And then here, I was sitting here like this. So I, I was like this. And then I saw, and I saw it there, and I went, as soon as I saw that, and then I saw it go up there, so hopefully it's caught it. Okay. Well, yeah, it was horrible, that was. Well then, guys, I'm making my way to the most evilest, horriblest room. And we're back with Reagan. And there she is. Okay. Always. Always. Oh, we're already kicking up. Reagan. The devil. Steve Merchant. Peekaboo. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look at, I was like a teapot then, wasn't I? A short hand spout. Here is my hand. You know. I don't look like a teapot. And I looked in that mirror, I was like, oh, teapot. Hammer. Hammer. Hammer smash face. So I've just come into the cave. And it's dark as hell. Really, really dark. Doesn't do it any justice, these cameras. Can't see anything. Quite eerie. But this is not safe. Oh, and then we're home again. Oh, can't be doing this for much longer. All this ghost hunting stuff, bodies falling apart. But Griff reported that he's seen some activity. He could have seen a shadow figure of an animal running up the stairs. Is it possible, Spirit, to do that again for me? Please show yourself to me or Stephen. Stephen is downstairs in the cellar in the new cave room, in the new room that opens up. And I'm at the top of the building. And by the top of the building, I'm basically in the attic. All I'm asking from you is a little bit of back and forth. Just a hello or a... Attic. Oh, the attic. I'm just asking for this. That's all. That's all I'm asking for is one one tap like that. If you can produce this for me, I will leave you alone. I will go and I will leave. Oh. I've spent quite a bit of time down here. Not a great deal's happened. I don't know if the spirits are following Griff tonight. But for me, I think I had one word on the app. I can't even remember what it was. It was that long ago. Nothing on the devices. Nothing. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything. Um, just my body parts falling apart. Ray. Ray. Ah, <laughs> my shoulder. Ray? Let me just look. Because there's some ashes in the wall here. 
by people who have got put the rashes, donated their rashes to the museum. Let me see if we have a ray. Hold on. Did Griff say that on his ghost tube app, the name Rose come up? Rose. Rose? Ooh. I've just had Ray. Is that Danny? Quincy. That's Donald. I can't believe that's all the names. I'm sure Griff said he got the name Rose. It's quite interesting. I'll double check with him when I see him. So, can you go towards the device that's on the bed? I'm leaving. Oh no, don't leave, please. Can you just go towards this device that's on the bed? Show me that you are here by getting it and moving it or going near it and touching the antenna. Could you do that for me, please? I don't mind if you break it. Did you get anything up there? No, absolutely nothing. Oh, I didn't get anything down there. Um, didn't you? No. I actually got a name called Ray. And then I went to look at all the body, you know, the ashes of yeah. people. And to see if that name was there. He weren't there. But didn't you say earlier you got the name Rose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, someone's ashes down Is there that? called Rose. I didn't check. Legit. No way. Because um, when I was going through, because I remember you saying, I'm sure, because I said there was a name called Michelle and you yeah, said yeah. Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, like, Emily Rose. And I was like, no, no, no. So when I looked, and then the first one I come to, he said Rose. I said, hold on. No way. Isn't this, I'm sure Griff said Rose. Yeah, yeah, I did. So that's so pretty cool. did say Rose on there. We're in the room with the infamous George creature. Now, Marie and Stephen, they let us take it out of the cabinet and bring him down here. And we've actually got him on top of the two haunted skulls, some of the most haunted objects in the museum. Now, George, I believe they said his eyes are made out of someone's glass eye or something like yep, that? Yep, the, the person's glass eye and his real hair. And his real hair, which is quite crazy to think about. Last time, we didn't even really do anything. We, we just done like a throwaway comment on the last investigation saying he had Griff's eyes. Um, but this time we're going to do some more investigating with him. So we've put the K2 meter right next to him and we've got the apps and whatever. We are here with Soph. She has finally joined us for the investigation. Um, we've done some land visuals and now we're just going to get into this. We do have a locked off camera just outside this room and there is another one at still in Reagan's room where the male rem is as well. So hopefully we can get some kind of good activity because last time we had locked off cameras down here, we was actually hearing a lot of bangs and noises, weren't we, Jess? Well, I had a lot of evil stuff a lot of, come yeah. from for this section. So for me personally, I had evil sayings like devil and... Why are you here? Kind of stuff like that. <laughs> they, just, they just don't want us here. Um, no. the, well, the apps don't want us here anyway, so that's what we're going to say. But um, I heard also shuffling above me and stuff. So I heard that as well. Hopefully, yeah. and Steve got that as well. So hopefully we can actually get that again. I remember last time when we went to finish the investigation and then just suddenly like everything was exploding in the building. It was. That's what I mean. It's weird because we, didn't, we haven't really felt anything upstairs. No. And then coming into here... It's just it, the feelings have dropped. Yeah. And it's a little bit more eerie and feels like something's going to happen. Did you hear that tapping? Yeah, yeah, I did. We do have a camera in there. What? Oh, God, the camera's gone yeah, down. it's just gone. Camera's just gone off. Why? Stupid. Oh. 
The stupid camera. You can check to see what it is. Father. Stupid father. Why would it have gone off? No. Battery is meant to last two hours. Was it recording? Oh shit. What? Well, it still says 20 minutes worth of battery. So. And three hours and 15 minutes on time. I'll change the battery out. That's off. Can you make the K2 meter go off if that was you messing with the other camera? Is there a way that you could do that for me? Help me. Help me? Well, I'm, he I'm here to help. What do you need my help with? Do you want to re-record everything now? No, it's all right. A lot of people get a lot of uneasy feelings looking at you, just being near you. So we want that energy and that spirit to come forward and give us a sign. None of us are afraid of you. I don't know. Well, we all think, we all think you're creepy looking. No, I'm not looking. afraid of you, George. Stupid. <laughs> you know what I got called upstairs? I was called a moron. Was that? Yeah. First ever time I've ever been called a moron by the ghost tube. Moron. That's not very nice. I've just been called a moron. I will say that's the first ever time that the word's ever come up. Moron. Thank you very much, Spirit. Are you taunting us, George? Are you telling us that we're stupid? Leave me alone. <laughs> and he's laughing over there, chuckling. But if any other spirit wants to come forward, I'll tell you when, that's fing evil. Is looking down here and someone walks past the, 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 window. the window shop and it's a pure black shadow just straight past like he went through the, the like the black oh, bars because yeah, yeah, yeah. of how it's like silhouetted yeah it's literally a black a person just walks right past there it was evil see you there move back over there so no like then go back further and then walk again. There was literally like a doo doo. There's literally a black person just walked straight past there. It was evil. See that? There's literally a black person just walked straight past there. It was evil. See that? Like loud. Solid. There's nothing here. It was like hollow, like a doo doo. I'll have a look. I'll check back. There again. That was another boom, weren't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thought it'd be someone above us. Check back. There again. That was another boom, weren't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thought it'd be someone above us. Check back. There again. That was another boom, weren't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thought it'd be someone above us. Hello? You know that's off. I did. I heard that boom. We do have a camera upstairs. Could you be louder? Hello? Give me that's off. I did. I heard that boom. Hello? I did. I heard that then. Okay, so George. Harold. Ooh. 
Harold. That said Harold. Yep. Okay. All right, George. Um, do you appro- does the man that uh, whose hair and eyes have been used to create George? Do you actually approve of this creation? I just had something get out of my back. Oh, like a chill. Have you, no, no, no. Have you got me on camera? Yeah, perfect. So can you see my back? Yep. Hundred percent. So like, are you gonna move? Mm-hmm. But George, are you affecting grief? Like, damn my back like someone went. Okay. I'm going to pick you up, but... Are you sure? You have to tell me otherwise. Are you sure? Um, <laughs> you have to tell me otherwise, George, because I'm going to I'm gonna pick you up now. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. He was a loud bang in there, wasn't he? Iron. Iron. Iron gate. Do you want to be near the gates? Shh, shh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up now. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up now. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. That was like a step. It was a lay bang. Hello? Come into this room. Stop banging and knocking in there. You're more than welcome to join us. Okay? Don't be afraid. Follow the red lights that you can see on the top of our cameras. And come and join us in this room. And then if you want to, you can make a bang and a loud noise in here. Okay? Okay. So, all you have to do now is tell us, or show us, a sign that you're here with us. Like I said, I don't think I'd like to be held in this room. Be pretty morbid for me. How about you? Down. Do you want to be put down? Well, I'm not going to put you down yet. What else can you tell us, George? Can you tell us something about your life? Male. Male? You're a male? Well, that is true. You've got (laughs) mail. Okay, well, that's a good start. Is there anything else you can tell us, George? Heart attack. Oh, oh shit. okay. Jesus Christ. So did you die of a heart attack? I feel a bit weird now. <laughs> Are you trying to communicate with me, George? I feel like you probably are. So, so far we've got mail and we've got heart attack. Is there anything else? <laughs> 